I'm not a Basque. I don't have a vote here. I'm not a citizen here, but I have spent my whole adult life following Basque affairs. Uh, and so I did feel a personal, you know, an emotional involvement. And it was really that part of me rather than my anthropological persona that, that it could not say no to Geneva when they, even though I was very skeptical that, that it was the right time or that it, would, or that it could work. William Douglas Nevada en Jaiozen mila bederatzireun dagoita meretzigarren urtean, Reno hirian. Gizarte antropologian doktorea da. Renoko unibertsitatean Euskal Ikerketen programa abiarazteko ardura hartu zuen. Hogeita amairu urtez jardun zuen lan horretan. Bi mila garren urtearen atarian erretretan sartu zen arte. Hogei liburu eta eun artikulu inguru ditu argitaratuak. Egin duen lan eskergaren ordain, hainbat sari eta merezimendu jasoa da. Dena den, azken urteetan bestelako dimentsio bat hartu du Douglasen alderdi biografiko eta profesionalak. Sekretuan egin zuen lan Euskal Gatazkari konponbidea eman asmoz, 2006-ko etaren suetena baino lehen. Ilabete honetako larrun gehigarrian bildu ditu bere gogoetak. Miel Angel Elustondo bere biografoarekin egindako elkarrizketa honetan, eginkizun honen ardura zergatik hartu zuen azaldu digu. Xehetasunak papereko bertsioan irakur ditzakezue. My involvement in Geneva um, was really an initiative on the part of the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue in Geneva because they were considering the possibility of becoming involved in a possible negotiation uh, of the Basque conflict. Well, it was a very difficult time. In fact, um, I was... Uh, reluctant, personally reluctant to become involved for various reasons, but uh, one of them was that I was retired and as director of the Center for Basque Studies in Rio, and I hadn't been to the Basque country for two or three years. At first I told them no, and uh, then they said, well, just come, just give us one day, and they flew me to Geneva from Reno. And I was very, very impressed with the center. It was an amazing place. I met with the director and the, and the assistant director, and they basically convinced me that they were quite serious and that they wanted to at least go to the next step. And they hadn't decided to become involved yet in, in the Basque issue. But they said, look, uh, we would still like to hire you. Um, can you, what would your next step be? And I said, well, my first step would be to go to the Basque country and talk to people. Eta ala, momentuan puripurian zegoen ibarretxe planari buruzko ikerketa bat egiten ari zela esanaz, Euskal Herrira etorri eta hainbat eragilerekin elkarrezketatu zen Douglas jauna. Diximuluan, balizko negoziazio bati buruzko galderaren bat edo beste egiten zien denei. Ondorio garbiarekin itzuli zen Suitzara. Euskal Gizarteak negoziazioa begionez ikusten zuen. And so it was my suggestion that the center already had a record of dealing with humanitarian issues, maybe the initially the center's position, particularly in reaching out to ETA, would be that the center was willing to contribute to a resolution of the humanitarian issues. Fundamentally, it's a political problem, and I think fundamentally political problems only have political solutions. 